The only, uh, it's the only way the final Pac-12 women's basketball tournament could end with the four best teams in the conference all competing for that final Pac-12 tournament trophy. The first matchup of the day, top-seeded Stanford taking on Oregon State to break it all down. Let's bring in KZI 9 sports reporter Brett Taylor who joins us live from Las Vegas with our coverage sponsored by Swanson Group. All right, Brett, what are the changes and chances that Oregon State must make to take down the Cardinal tonight? Honestly, Matt, I think it's going to all come down to a coin flip. These are not only two of the best teams in the Pac-12 conference this year, but two of the best teams in the nation. And every time these two squads have faced off this season, it's been really, really close. I go back even to the first time I covered Oregon State taking on Stanford earlier this season when head coach Scott Ruick. Describe these matchups like playing chess. Every time you think you've got all the right pieces on the right spot on the board ready to issue checkmate, Stanford is ready with a counter strategy. And for head coach Tara Vanderveer and the Cardinal, it's been working for years. In fact, when you even look at the numbers, head coach Scott Ruick and the Beavers have only been the Cardinal three times in his time at Corvallis and are 0-6 against Stanford in this tournament. But despite their struggles, there is hope. The fact that they're within five points of beating Stanford in their last meeting with Reagan Beers out is actually a really good sign. And now that she's back, Oregon State looks like one of the best two teams in this conference. And even head coach Tara Vanderveer had a lot of high praise for Coach Ruick and the Beavers, but said as long as she and Coach Ruick keep playing chess, Stanford will keep on winning. I think he does a great job. Uh, they have um, really a talented team, and um, they had, um, you know, they, they had a, I think they were down 12 going in the, four, in the fourth quarter, and to come back, um, I think that says a lot about their team, and I told our team that at halftime, and I said, you know, hey, this is what tournament teams do, and a credit to Scott and the great job he does, and, and obviously their players, so, um, you know, as long as uh, as long as we're both playing chess and we're not playing checkers, it'll be all right. Look, by no means is Oregon State getting this win going to be easy. They know how tough this battle is going to be. But this squad behind me right now warming up knows that nothing is impossible, especially considering what we witnessed yesterday. Oregon State coming back from a 12-point deficit in the fourth quarter to beat Colorado in double overtime. The first time they've been the Buffaloes in this Pac-12 tournament. Can they do the same to the Stanford Cardinal tonight? Well, only time will tell. Reporting live in Las Vegas with coverage sponsored by Swanson Group, Brett Taylor, KZI 9 Sports.